Bring in uh, sports journalist uh, Branson Owana to talk more about the English Premier League. Uh, well, Liverpool uh, does appear to uh, hold on uh, to their lead this time, aren't they? <laughs> well, um, Liverpool is shocking how uh, they've taken the lead. I, I thought they would have learned from last season. Last season, at the point in the season, they were eight points clear and they kept dropping points. The victory yesterday, we can say, was a very hard-fought victory, and they really need to watch their back. But overall, three points was good enough. Six um, gaps within the point, uh, with the, behind um, Manchester City is behind them with um, six points. But they have to watch. If you have City behind you, you don't need to blink. Well, what is, <laughs> Brunson, uh, sometimes one wonders, what is wrong with Arsenal? Uh, the fans showed their frustration on Sunday when they booed off their own skipper uh, of the pitch. Well, people thought that Wenger was a problem. Has anything changed since uh, he left? Uh, for us now, it's been the same of the same. I, I think um, a bit of overrated players on the side. And um, I, I really don't think the coach is a problem. For instance, Manchester United, they thought the coach was a problem until Logan and Solskjaer came in and we saw the accident of the player. I think as now have uh, been overrated. They have a bunch of average players. If they must compete for the title, they need to up their game, sign quality players. And the fans are frustrated because they should be lifting some titles. Uh, I mean, the, I can't remember the last time uh, that Arsenal won the English Premier League. So they want it so badly. And you can feel that with frustration and how they expressed it yesterday. Well, let's talk about Chelsea. Um, you know, the ban and then, uh, you know, bringing on a rookie manager in Frank Lampard. There was a sense in which people thought that Chelsea was going to have a problem as the season would uh, go on. But from what we have seen so far, they do appear to be heading in the right direction, aren't they? Yeah, they are very, I mean, uh, I'm very surprised at the performance of Frank Lampard. I, I thought it was going to be a time bomb <laughs> which is to explode for a coach uh, that's Especially had um, little experience coaching camp the championship side coming to Chelsea when they had transfer ban no opportunity to sign the big player. But I mean, Frank Lampard has turned that team around, youthfulness, and you can see the way they play. I mean, Mason Mount for this time was, um, uh, you could say, a rookie player. And um, Hosno Joy, of course, has really improved. Tammy Abraham has been a revelation of the side. And the mix of experience and youthfulness, you have to give it to Frank Lampard. He's been able to turn the fortune of Chelsea. Even though it looks like this season, they just may not win the title, but of course, they look good to qualify for the Champions League sport. But I think it's more backing. Frank Lampard will do more next season. Well, Branson, Owana, sports journalist, we thank you very much indeed for talking to us.